What's going on, YouTube? That guy named Jay checking in, checking in. We got a special guest in the house. <laughs> Mrs. That guy named Jay, aka. She whack. <laughs> She's super whack. So, this is just going to be like a preview of what our other channel is going to look like. Have you come up with a name for that channel yet? No, you put, you're the creative name person. I don't know, I'm not. What are you talking about? This is your idea. You want to do YouTube. No, we're going to both of them do it. We're going we to sit down and do it. Well, we're going to do another channel. Um, it's going to be a like a young, black, married couple. I seen somebody in the comments ask why. I had to say young, black, married couple specifically. Um, just because that's what we are and that's what we represent. And you don't see a lot of people who look like us speaking openly about their young black marriage. I mean, it's nothing to speak down. Like it's just saying, um, you know, black power doesn't mean we're speaking down on any other race. It's just that we're speaking up about ours because... We both come from situations where black marriage isn't uh, celebrated or put on a pedestal like it should be. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to use our platform to do that. So um, this is going to be like a preview of the other channel, even though I'm putting it on my channel. But just to give my subscribers who may be interested in this type of content... Um, hmm. Content. <laughs> she catching on. Who may be interested in this type of content? Just give you a preview of what you have to look for when we create our new channel. So, what you want to talk about? I don't know. We're gonna say the good, good stuff because I got some questions that's gonna be like, "Ooh, we may have to like do pre-production." You know, pre-production is right. Yeah. Like when we talk about it off camera mm -hmm. first, when we I don't want to get divorced behind a YouTube video. That'd be wild. Okay. <laughs> um okay so let's okay trucking related what has made you stay with me through all my job hopping and it's funny because i was just talking about this earlier in my live uh my live show i did earlier well yesterday i'm gonna upload this video tomorrow morning so the live show that i did last night i was talking about how she stuck with me and you know been consistently by my side and supporting me no matter what my erratic decisions have been what has um made you do that in just in trucking hold on whoa, whoa, whoa. i mean where else have i been erratic i mean you said your job hopping so i was just thinking oh you're you gonna, told me since we've been together so i was just thinking oh daughter. so you said i've been job hopping since we've been together <laughs> no oh, no she no 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 yeah. oh, no man no oh my god hold on we're getting hot in here oh my god Hold on. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. Woo. Oh my gosh. Since trucking. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I mean, this is, I'm going to say this is the only thing. Yeah, this is the only thing I've ever seen you stick to that she's really passionate about. What she's trying to say nicely is that I've been through a lot of different career professions. Before trucking, I did security. I was in the warehouse. Um, I did... Uh, who that? Your mama? Oh. Um, I did security. I did uh, warehouse jobs. I did janitorial things. Um, I did culinary. Uh, I sold knives. Uh, it's, it was a lot of things that I did that I thought that was, that was it because we've been together since high school. Okay. Um, we've been together since, um, I, I first knew she was going to be mine, my 10th grade year. She didn't know it at the time. She was with some light skin nigga, whatever. But, um, you know, she finally came to the realization in our senior year, you know what I'm saying? And I took her from a light skin nigga, you know what I'm saying? Oh, black. Oh yeah, fucking a red bone in motherfucker. Anyway, so um I'm talking but I was with a white girl. But anyways, um shut up. Anyways, uh so since we have been together, you know, my main objective has always been to take care of her even before my son was born. 
But then once my son was born, was to take care of us as a family with some type of career. So I've done a couple things. You know, I've just been trying to find my way. I'm not going to get drawn out. I've been trying to find my way. So I guess trucking. See, a lot of times, like if I've had this many hiccups and something else, I would have left the career field altogether. So I guess what she's trying to say is, that because I've stuck it out this long, just with this career field, period. I think Miss Pearl kind of said this the other day on the live feed. When she was like, some people my age would have already left this mm -hmm. career field. So I, I guess that's what she's trying to say. I don't know. You, 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 I'm going to do too much talking. This is past things. Could have been gave this up the first couple of months he started and it didn't turn out right. But after trucking school, we up and left. And, uh, oh, okay. But after that, I knew you were like, okay. But you never was out. So, like, if you was going to another, you was already had one lined up. But that's how I knew. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, how did you feel when I got fired? That was the first. When was the last I time was, I got fired? I don't know. You never been fired, but that's why I said it was the first. You didn't get fired yet, fool. You put, I mean, you walked off of a couple, but, you know, yeah. that's not me. I'm fired. So... When you hear people say that I'm inconsistent, I'm setting a bad... Thank you, JJ. Thank you, little short arm. Uh, when you hear people say that I'm a bad example for truck drivers, how does that make you feel? You say what? You're not even listening? JJ is throwing me off. What do you want? I want to be in the video. You want to be in the video? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, just come over here. No, come sit on my lap. Come on. It's just because you, you got to be a part of everything. No shirt on. They're not going to talk about you for not having your shirt on. But if daddy ain't have his shirt on. You got a gun in your pocket? He got, a, he got the strap. He got the, <laughs> he got the Draco in the pocket. Look at it. Look. Well, what are you doing walking around with the... You've been watching daddy too much. Oh, what you been doing? Big baby. Anyways, so... What was I saying? I forgot. When people call you inconsistent. I'm a bad example for truckers. Do you yeah. think I'm a bad example? Not necessarily because you tell everybody what you're going through. So, like I said, you have to pay, you pay everything up there. So, um, <laughs> I don't think you're a bad example. I think you, some people need it. Yeah, some people need it. Okay. Let's ask the good stuff. Um, hmm. What's the good stuff? What's a good question to ask my wife? In front of 4,000 people. Hmm. <laughs> Have you ever thought about leaving me? No. Not for trucking. I mean, not because of trucking. Not because of trucking? What the fuck that mean? <laughs> what you laughing <laughs> at? Oh, y'all scheming against me. Boy, get out of here. Get out of here. Get Get Oh, now we, now we cooking. Not because, what you mean not because of... We have our own other issues besides trucking. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I see so. you know that. Which will be discussed on our other channel. So if you want to get a more in depth about the things that we've gone through and things of that nature, you gotta watch the other channel. So we ain't gonna give all that away on my channel. You know what I mean? Uh, um, hot seat. There's plenty of times when I was mad that you were gone for so long. So you like okay, so okay, okay, so being on the road when I was gone for months at a time. You would have never. So if I would have kept doing that, would you have left me? I would have never left you. It would. It would. It would have ran past your mind though. Yeah. Why? Especially because when I was doing that, I was making the money I was making. Yeah, but. So in your opinion, as a trucker's wife, these drivers that out here promote being gone for a month. It's not healthy. It's how is it not healthy when it's they making not. money? What money got to do with a relationship though? But I'm, if the money wasn't there, would your marriage still be there? If the money wasn't there, would the marriage still be there? Some would if, say if, they, I mean, if, they're, if they're there for the right reasons, I'm just saying. Right, but I'm saying, like, you got some people who say, yo, yeah, I'm gone for two months, but I came home with this amount of money, and now we can do whatever we want. That don't mean nothing. But to me, I, mean, I guess I'm different. The money the money ain't going to fix our communication or our marriage. Like, it's not going to build our marriage. Not, yeah, that being, one not that one thing, necessarily. But being broke ain't either. We've been broke plenty of times, so. 
So you saying so you telling me money don't mean nothing. I ain't gonna say it don't mean nothing. But it's not that big of a deal. No. So if I was making forty five thousand dollars a year working at fucking oh my. McDonald's. I'm asking. Cause you gotta you gotta you can't just leave it blank. You gotta fill in the gap so that I know the well the guys that you talking about that be up there gone for a long period of time. Most of them end up divorced. I'm trying to tell you, half their wives are gonna leave them because they just think making the money now and them being gone now is just gonna make everything in their family, you know, better. And it's not because yeah, you bring home the money, but what about the other things that a family in a marriage needs? So when you're not being there, being absent, it's like okay. Yeah, I. Because <laughs> sometimes when you on the truck, you on, you on when you was on the road, either you didn't have service, or you was talking to this person, so all your family trying to call you, so we really didn't get a lot of talk time. So, and a lot of stuff that happened at home, you wouldn't understand because you weren't there. So you'd be like, "Oh, don't worry about it. You just over at there, right?" Until you come home and you realize, like. <laughs> Yeah. So if what if I told you like yo I got an opportunity to go back on the road right now to make three thousand dollars a week take home, you wouldn't want me to go. It depends on how long you'll be gone. I gotta be gone six weeks at a time. Three thousand dollars take home, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> when I come home after the six weeks, I come home for a week and a half. So gone for six weeks, home for a week and a half, which is what uh, seven. So ten and a half days, three thousand dollars take home all year long. I mean, <laughs> when you say that, but still at that time, that, so you that get, ten days you home, are you spending it at home time? Like spending like, it with y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't have a problem with me being gone. You just had a problem with me coming home and not giving you my undivided attention. Yeah. Well, that's a whole nother issue. Though. Same thing, though. That's what will barely, be, which will be discussed on the other talk to you on, like, <laughs> Yeah. So, your advice yeah, to uh, young married couples who are looking to get into this industry, um, you would say for the guys, when you come home off that road, Come home to your family. Don't go out here and be trying to chill with your homeboys. And your I'm not saying don't chill with them. But your immediate family at home that's been waiting on you, that you provide for, that's been missing you. I mean, I'm going to say your friends don't miss you, but they're your friends. So, pretty sure you talk to them. But they matter first. That's what I'm saying. The friends do. No. Family... <laughs> Family matter first. You should. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, okay. I get that. So, but to answer, to answer that question, if that type of opportunity came in. So, basically, you don't mind me being OTR as long as the money is right and that when I come home, you get my undivided attention. Yeah. For real. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I'm about to go OTR then. They just used to Oh, no, what you mean? What you mean? Because I could go to the oil field right now and go make $2,000 a week, leave for four weeks and come home for a week. No, you just said. You can't. Don't. Why would you want to go to the oil field? You know you don't want to go there. Hold on. We ain't got to put all that information. I'm just saying. She be a messy man. How you know I want to go to the oil field? I heard you say it before. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, how long? How long has been? It's been it went fourteen minutes. What? What? Too long. Got to go. Uh, we want to thank Mrs. <laughs> Such for that guy named Jay, what? for that girl named Jay, for whatever her name is, for coming up here. This is just a glimpse into what we're going to be doing on our channel, which is yet to be named because she hasn't come up with a name. Um, we just kind of kept it trucking related here tonight. Um. Matter of fact, we might do another video. I think I'm going to stop this video. We're going to start another video. That's what we might do. Yeah. So you'll get two videos. So you'll get two previews. Or we maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll talk about it. But yeah, man. This is this is what we're going to do on the other channel. Um, Me talking with my queen, man. Just talking about some real stuff. We ain't going to be talking about that 
boring ass married couple shit that everybody talks. We're going to be talking about the real nitty gritty, which is why we're going to probably do a lot of pre production, uh, mm. pre production meetings before these because these videos can. It can go left if not talked about beforehand, so we can, you know what I mean? So, but we don't mind being transparent. At least I don't mind being transparent. I think I got to ask her how transparent she's willing to be. And um, hopefully we can help some young married couples out here or young couples who are looking at marriage and just give you a different perspective um, that, you know, the marriage counselor ain't going to tell you, the pastor ain't going to tell you, your mom and daddy ain't going to tell you. Because people look at marriage, young black marriage or young marriage, period, and they have that perception of what they think it is. And I think, you know, somebody needs to put out what it really is, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly and everything in between. You know what I mean? So, but as always, man, stay safe, stay positive, stay productive. God, family, trucking. You got anything to say? Nope. Yeah, you got to say a saying. Like, you're going to be a YouTube, you got to have like a, a cat I don't face. have one, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out.